Yes, I am BK and she is Charity. Yes, and today we're going to be talking about things like staying in your lane. The fact that not everything people do is suitable for you. Actually. We're making up earlier. Yeah, we're about going out. We're making up earlier. And then she said she liked the umbrella loops I was I was rocking and she wanted to do something similar. I spent the whole day, my head is aching currently from laughing because it didn't why is this not stupid? It didn't pan out well for her and she just complained and had to like scrub it off because it was mad lipstick. And and we suddenly realized like not everything is for you. No. Sometimes you always see things on people and you think, okay, this really looks good on this person. Like, this is amazing. You know, I really saw that picture. I was like, wow. Like, BK, would this fit me? And you, you told me it would fit me. It will fit you, you if you put it, it well. Fit me. That's a difference. No. I it's not the lipstick her. from that Lion Heart video. Yeah. If you. The lipstick. Yes, exactly. I saw the Lion Heart video and I was like, oh my God, I love this lipstick. And I wanted to try it out for this video. And let's just say it was a total flop. I wish it, I can't post the picture because you mean a lot no, to me. But I, uh, no, don't. Thank you. Okay. okay. So what suits others may not necessarily suit you. So it's sometimes we we just get to be a little bit greedy. Mm -hmm. uh, should I say greedy? Yeah. That's Why I carried one. away? I think carried away because if A rocks this, like there are instances I see celebrities wear something and someone just goes, "Ooh, David Doe is rocking this. I'm going to get yeah. this for myself." And you get it, and you're looking like. Silence. That's the word. We, that's that's just it. It doesn't just ever pan out well. And most times, because of our desire to mostly copy people and not be original, and just be who we are or who we want to be or what fits us or do what fits us or what suits us, yeah, we always tend to go way overboard trying to copy people that these things actually do suit them and they probably have like a whole chain of stylists do you get to run it by especially celebrities like we always want to copy celebrities we always want to do what they do i wasn't like i made this hair with the hopes that i will look like kim kardashian or something why did you even have to say that <laughs> because you look like because it's Gechi. actually yeah you exactly like and then we now have hairdressers that are not like you know top notch so i feel <laughs> like this time that olamide rocks the golden hair yeah okay it caused a ripple effect in nigerian youth kingdom because everybody is it's rocking really the golden, golden hair yeah. and you see some and it's painful to watch like there are other colors that probably will suit you i'm a huge fan of colors i color my hair i've colored ox blood i've gone um i've used white i've used blue occasionally but i've tested them maybe a little spray at the end and put yeah. it up against my face and seen but we just feel like it is working for this person must work for me too do you know the thing is you should always before you even want to do what someone else has done mm. you should always first of all sit down and calculate look at if it's about fashion look at your, your the shade of your body skin. type look at your body type well i'm male or look female at, yeah of course of okay you can't spray gold hair spray with a skin tone no seriously no, I'm back. you can't but no seriously okay i'm back you can't spray you can't go spray okay go on go spray an ox blood hair color when you're like light skin it will just try to try to imagine it will fit you that's the beauty i'm really tempted to get a light with an ox blood color and wrap it around my head but it will suit skin. you because you're dark your complexion is like kind of like it can, it can go with the ox blood but just try just try imagining putting gold not the not the calm gold, like the very crazy type of gold on mm, I've never I think the fact that it trended a lot. It's now boring. Yeah, it just made it common. You commonized it. Is there any mm. other experience you've had with stuff you've tried doing that wasn't meant for you? Okay. Basically I should say I think it's just mostly I don't really do try to copy people that much. Mm. But it, it has to just do with the hair and makeup thing. But when it comes to clothing I try to be a little life bit choices. Myself. I try to be a little bit more of myself. I think for me it has to be maybe food. Okay. I, I I I tried to dab, it dabble a lot of into different types of food and then uh, I ate one. I can't. I think it was abata in the oh, east. Abata yeah. is good. I've heard a lot of good things. I like the fish on top, the fried one with a flour. But every other thing, I don't I don't quite get it. I've eaten fufu. I've eaten white soup. I've eaten salai is white soup. I've eaten every other thing. Opa, every other one, but that abacha, it's not for me. There's always this saying that one man's food is another man's food. 
So I think that's amazing. I, I I wanted to convince you about Bacha, but there's no point. You can't. Like I tried twice. It's amazing. Maybe it's these people's type of Bacha. When I make money, and I like it. I'll try. So okay, so basically, the whole point of this our story is just to tell you that not everything is for you. So that's the end of the video. Yeah. Learn to stay in your lane. Not yeah. everything's for you. So if you've ever tried something that wasn't for you and it ended up badly or it ended up well, let us know in the comment section. I will attach the link to her YouTube channel and do well to enjoy it and check her bridal page and all the things she does on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. I've already said on YouTube, so on YouTube as well. Yeah. Charity Kizzy. Yeah, it. she's Charity Kizzy and it's super creepy. Oh, so French. <laughs>